this portion of the video, we'll teach you how to update your profile in Schoology. So at the top of your navigation pane, you will click the down arrow where you see your name and you will update your profile. So here you can add your photo, you can write a short biography, and you can add your activities and interest. This is a good place to provide information so that when parents log on, they can see things about you. So think about times when parents have asked, what kind of things do you like? Because they want to purchase you something um, such as a teacher appreciation gift or a Christmas gift. But please remember um, that we have to follow all Petersburg school, pub, City Public School board policies in relation to gifts. So it will take you through doing each one of these things. So in order to add a photo, you click on and you can choose one of their avatars or you can attach a file. It is going to link to your PC. So the whatever device you are using, that is where it's going to try to locate pictures. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit and as you can see, it updates my picture on the left hand side. I'm going to write a short biography and basically it tells me everything that I need to add. So the subjects I teach are instructional technology. I teach pre-K through 12th grade. My position is I'm going to put in a different. And then I could put a bio here, whatever I'd like people to know about me. And then I could put in my birthday. So I'm going to say that the birthday for this account is and I have to save it. Then I would go to interest and activities and for my interest I could put all things tech, reading, reading, so anything that I like. Under contact information, it is going to auto default to your Petersburg email account. I do not suggest you adding any other email to your Schoology profile. This is what both parents and students will be able to see. So don't add your personal emails here or parents and students will be able to see that email and email you there. When you add a phone number, I would suggest that you use the main phone number for your school building so that any calls that parents make will get the secretaries at your school building. Under websites, if you have a blog that you use or a class website, you can link them here. Please remember that anytime you add anything to any section of your profile, you have to click save changes in order for it to save. Since I didn't type anything, I'm going to hit cancel. And it takes me back to my main page. Here, I actually have the feature to be able to start a blog. I know that many teachers discuss the fact that during the school year, they wanted a blog that they could update parents and students. You could also think of this as your weekly newsletter. And then here's a place for you to start a portfolio. It will actually walk you through how to create this. 
This will be an additional module that you can learn at a later date. When I go back into my account, if I click on settings, it takes me to my account settings where I can change my password. I can share my Schoology calendar. So like I could actually add in my Google calendar for my instructional technology page. I'm actually going to disable that right now. If you have multiple Schoology accounts, you can link all accounts there, but all teachers should only have one Schoology account. Here is where you can actually decide if you want to see your course dashboard when you first log on or your recent activity. I'm going to leave mine at course dashboard. For your students, you may want them to do recent activity so that any post or announcements that you have made immediately, they see immediately when they log on. So under notifications, I can decide what is emailed to me or I can turn all of them off. I can also send notifications to my phone via a text message. So you, this is where you would go through and decide what you want to be sent to you and what you do not want to be sent to you. Under your privacy settings, you can see what you're actually able to use. As you can see, there are some that you cannot change, but there are some that you can change. So for instance, if I don't want the organization, which would be Petersburg City Public Schools, so anyone who is in the organization to see my media album, I can't click it off. That is something that only an administrator can do. But I can say, I'm sorry, forgive me. You can click it off. I meant to say updates, not media albums. The updates, I can't click off from the organization, but I can filter it to decide if only my school sees it, my connection see it, or no one sees it. So I'm gonna leave mine at school. If I don't want the organization to see my media albums, I can click off of it, or I can say that they can't. You will learn more about media albums in a subsequent training module. I can also decide who sees my blog. I want to take, take your attention to the top. Even though we have scrolled down and you can't see the bolded or heading type for the privacy settings, as I move down, Schoology all keeps it up so that I can follow along. In your recycle bin, it works just like any other recycle bin. Anything that you have deleted is going to be placed in your recycle bin. Here under subscriptions, I can decide if I'm subscribed to the Schoology blog by clicking off here. If someone has created a blog and invited me to it and I joined, I will see that here as well, and I can decide that I no longer want to get those updates. This is also where you log out. I would suggest any time that you are finished in Schoology that you log out from your account instead of just clicking the X at the top of your Chrome browser. So this completes the training introduction module for your Schoology learning session. If you have any questions, please remember that you can email any of the instructional technology team by emailing us here or using your Google account and 
emailing us at instructionaltechnology at petersburg.k12.va.us. It is best to use the instructional technology email address so that your email does not get lost in our personal email accounts. Thank you and I hope that this training 